In this video, we're going to be talking about dynamic scatter plots. And I've already done a video on that. So if you want to see it, go check it out. Um, this is the video right here. Let me show you how it works. So I'm just going to skip through. Um, you've got a scatter plot. It says profit and sales. But what you can do is using parameters and some, you know, clever formulas, these labels can change. Let me move through here and you can see. Do, 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 do. Okay. Maybe just skip to the end. Right. So you can see these parameters over here. And as you change them, you know, different things will start to happen. You can see I'm about to change it, you know, and it'll start changing. The problem with this particular thing is if I zoom in here, right, when you change the label, this does not change. So I'm going to show you a bit of a hack on how to solve that. And the reason this has come up is because one of my lovely YouTube students, Roos Tube, uh, reported this uh, problem and says that she's really struggling with this. And it's not something I ever really thought about. So I'm going to show you a clever way. It's not my solution. I found it online um, of how to get around this problem. So let's head over to Tableau. And before we do that, actually, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get alerts when I release new videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Let's head over to Tableau. All right, here we are in Tableau, and I'm just going to use the Superstore data set. Uh, we're going to build it from scratch so you can kind of see it bit by bit if you're still not too sure how it works. We're going to use the Superstore, and you'll probably notice maybe a few things look different. I am using the latest Tableau 2020.4. It's always exciting when they release a new one. Uh, you know, it's like Steve Jobs releasing a new iPhone, maybe not the same level, but for me it is. Uh, all right, here we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to use three things. We're going to use discount, profit, and quantity. And I chose these specifically because discount is actually in percentage form. I'll, I'll show you how to deal with that. Profit is in dollars and quantity is just a number, right? So how do you get around the currency or the units uh, problem? So let's get into that. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a parameter, and this allows us to choose which field, uh, which measure we're going to be using for the visualization. So let's call this um, measure choice. Switch this to string. We're going to switch to list, and we're going to add these three things in. So discount. Make sure you spell them exactly, all right? Um, otherwise, the logic formula doesn't work. Profit and quantity. Quantity. Yep. And go OK. All right, that's step number one. Step rule number two. Okay, that's from Aladdin. Uh, all right, so we're going to do this as, so that's measure choice. Let's call this measure logic. I have terrible names for my formulas. All right, we're going to use the case function. So case, and we're going to use um, measure choice, right? The parameter we just made. And you notice that it's purple, which means it's a parameter. And we're going to go when the measure choice equals uh, discount. You also notice my keyboard is much louder than it used to be. I've moved full desktop setup. I'm going to release a new video a video showing the whole thing. It's like a gaming, gaming slash Tableau gaming mostly uh, <laughs> setup. So let's get into it. So discount then, right? And then we're going to do discount the field itself. So you can see it's in brackets. I'm going to copy this two more times just to save some time. I'm going to go quantity this one will switch to quantity. And the last one we're going to switch to oh, profit. Okay, doesn't matter what order, because it cycles through them anyway. All right, and then we just close off the function end. All right, let's go okay. Let's bring that in. You can see it just says measure logic. And we're also going to go to this parameter and go show parameter so we can see what choice we made. All right, let's go profit. You can see there's no currency, the label doesn't change, but the values change, which means that's good. All right, that works, fantastic. All right, let's go entire view. I'm just gonna space this out a little bit. Okay, cool. All right, by the way, you'll also notice the animations. So if you, in 2020.4, by default, when you open it up, the animation setting is on, right? And it just, it looks awesome when you build stuff. All right. And what we're going to do now is we're going to create this label. So here's how you do it. In this measure logic, we're going to duplicate this. So we're going to go duplicate and we're going to go measure logic label. I'm going to open it up and go edit. 
And in here, instead of pulling out the field, we're just going to write the same thing, discount. Quantity and profit. Okay, there we go. No errors. Okay. And then what you do is, I've lost it now. It's moved. Uh, where did it go? Measure label. There we go. And we're going to add it right before the rows. And watch what happens. All right. You get what I'm doing? You get what I'm doing? All right. So then we come in here. We're going to go show header. Oops, sorry, not show header. We're going to go inside edit access. We're going to get rid of this label. <coughs> Close this off. You can see it's starting to change. And we're going to rotate this. And we can get rid of this one right here. So you can see now it says discount. Now here's the problem. Right, it's still no units, so we can actually um, add that in. So we go measure logic label, and we're going to go discount in percentage. We're going to go quantity with nothing and profit in dollars, and go OK. All right. So kind of the drawback is you can't have the currency or the unit right next to the value. It's fine. It's fine. Um, when I used to write research paper or you know read research papers and all that kind of stuff this is kind of how the standard always was very rarely you'd have it in there uh, i don't think it's make or break um, i feel like there's no space there i'm just going to add another space because it kind of looks a bit ugly there we go like that now one other problem with profit quantity sales all that kind of stuff it's okay but the problem with percentage is that there's a conversion so if i do the same thing again right if we just bring discount in here you see the highest value is actually a hundred and oh let's not do that a hundred and sixty thousand percent but if I come in here it's sixteen hundred so we're going to convert this so that it equals this and the way to do that is if I go back into measure logic we're going to simply multiply this by 100 right so you can see it's now the same value for when you did this and you can play around with that kind of stuff depending on what you're trying to do there's heaps of kind of flexibility in that if you wanted to do it for the other side it's the same thing so i'm just going to cheat and use this all right and we're going to not rotate this one all right i think you can you can only if you rotate one both of them rotate it's a little bit annoying but that's not a deal breaker all right so you can see discount percentage you can get rid of this label Da, 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 da. Get rid of that right and you can kind of get away with doing it that way i think if you wanted to bring this here i'm just kind of a quick kind of play with this oh sorry no not like that no you can't right so you kind of have to suffer with that being at the top but at least you now have the units in here so uh Roos, hopefully this helps you in what you're trying to do. Um, until then, don't forget to like the video if this was helpful to you. Uh, don't forget to subscribe so you get new videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And until then, see ya and bye.